Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the 2023 LEGO Star Wars TIE Bomber. It has 625 pieces and sells for $65 from LEGO. Now it has four minifigures and the box art looks pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, uh, it has stud shooters and nothing comes out of the bullet place here. Um, but it does drop bombs if you can see that right off the edge there. Moving on, um, it does have the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi symbol on there, which I have a little complaint about, nothing really big. However, this is box art from where the TIE Bombers are chasing the Millennium Falcon, but that's in Empire Strikes Back. That is not in... so that's a little annoying. However, other than that, we have the cockpit right here. We have the radar sensor right here, and we have wings going across the sides. Moving around to the back of the set, we can see the TIE bomber in its docking position with the cockpit window up, and you can see over here the TIE pilot inside of the cockpit. You can see the mechanism. For the dropping the bombs, you simply push them down since they are flick fire missiles and they come out of the bottom. Now you can also see the four minifigures we have here. We have a gonk droid, a TIE bomber pilot, Ray Sloan from Legends, and Darth Vader with arm printing. We also get this maintenance cart if you lose any of your bombs. Opening this set should be a breeze. We simply put our thumb through the holes here. Oh goodness, okay, and we open it up. As you can see, we have six numbered bags. And an instruction manual for building the set. Time to build... Quick, while editing this video, I discovered a Lego misprint on the instructions manual. As you can see in step 81 on page 54, we can see that skate piece right in the middle there. However, if we move to step 82 on page 55, it's not there. I don't know how Lego screwed this up, but it is a pretty interesting find. You don't see that every day.
first minifigure in this set is Ray Sloan, and she is only an officer in this, not gr in her Grand Admiral uniform, so she's not in that pearl white Admiral Thrawn uniform, so that's a little lame, so it's just that normal Imperial officer look. But she does uh, have a unique hairpiece, and she looks pretty cool. The second minifigure in this is Darth Vader with his, it's kind of frosted there, and then he also has some arm printing as you can see there, which is always a nice addition. Um, moving on to under his helmet, you can see he has a completely white face which uh, looks really good. He has some nice uh, burn marks from Mustafar, and then we move to the back. He actually has a little back print there for more scars. Our third minifigure is the TIE Bomber Pilot. He actually looks pretty good. He has no arm printing, just that typical Imperial pilot outfit, and he has a small blaster along with some pretty nice detailing on the torso, legs, and helmet. Moving under that helmet, we can see a Superman face. Our fourth and final character is a gonk droid. He actually uses the Imperial crate for part of his body, and it actually uh, looks pretty good. Um, he can stand up on his own, which is pretty nice, um, but he doesn't really add much to the set overall. Also in this set comes a maintenance cart, which actually looks pretty cool. It holds two bullets, which are actually completely free moving, as you can see, um, and you can sit one of your characters down right in that seat there. As you can see, the cockpit opens up like this, and you can slide your Imperial Trooper in like. So, he moves in and just slides in right there. It's a bit of a tight fit, and this can get jammed a bit on the way. You cannot also have the blaster here, which is a little annoying, so I will take that off. But that is an image of him sitting in that cockpit there. You can slide it down, and you can actually not see him in there because of studs. Overall, this set is an 8 out of 10 for me. I was expecting the TIE Bomber actually to be a bit larger. Um, however, it does look pretty nice all around. Um, and it also has that radar dish under there, or radar sensor under there, which I actually really like. I like the characters in this, though some of them tend to be a little bland. Um, but also, other than that, this set is actually really good. I would recommend picking it up. They do have sales at Walmart or on Amazon. Uh, I saw it for like $52 not too long ago, but at lego.com they do sell this for $65 and I bought it at that price. So, thank you all for watching my review of the 2023 TIE Bomber Lego set. Have a great day. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button to make sure you don't miss out on the next Lego review.